solemn occasion, and I would like you just to begin with by bowing your heads in a moment of respect. Thank you. As we gather together to pay tribute to the life of someone that you all knew well, someone who goes by different names, some just call called him Old CSR. Others uh, called him by different names. Some affectionately in our little circle called him CSR 1.0. Others gave him his full respectful title, Corporate Social Responsibility. And as I pay tribute to this recently deceased person among us, I want to reflect on his life. As you probably know, there's some mystery about when old CSR was really born. Uh, most say that it was in the 1950s. But some venture that it was even older than that, going back to the 1850s of the industrial welfare movement and the grand philanthropists like Rockefeller. But I think that's just because he carried his age really well. And I think we can probably agree that he was born in the 1950s. Well, he had a troubled youth um, in the 1960s. There was a lot of activism going on. Some will remember Ralph Nader with his campaign against General Motors, unsafe at any speed. It was a confusing time for CSR and a time when he felt judged and reacted and was quite defensive. Well, the 1970s, for those who remember, uh, he was a young adult and he fell in with the wrong crowd. Uh, and among his friends that we perhaps know misled him was someone that uh, most people knew as PR, public relations. And so he fell in with this crowd, but by the 1980s, uh, things had changed again. And in fact, he had re rediscovered some of his playfulness. And he was playing hide and seek during the 80s. I don't know if uh, he could always be found in the Greenwood's good 80s. But as we went into the 90s, well, this is a solemn occasion, but many of you, I'm sure, will fondly remember that he had a little bit of a, uh, should we say, a weakness for cross-dressing. And he particularly liked to dress up in green. Uh, in fact, some will even remember the day when he pretended to be Guy and Mother Earth. And, uh, well, we all, we all respect him for, uh, for the fun side that he had as well. Well, sadly, in the 2000s, uh, he, he contracted cancer and began to fade away, began to become less active. And now, sadly, another victim of the recession, where we really just couldn't hold on any longer. But I think the way that we should remember CSR, old CSR, is that he was generous throughout his whole life. Old CSR was a giver, wasn't he? He was there in the community, he was there writing the checks. He was a real generous spirit, and perhaps that's how we should remember him. He does leave behind a daughter. So as we pay our last respects, 
Um, I'd like to just open the floor really to some tributes for uh, anyone who has some kind words to say about the old CSR and what you remember of him. And I'd like you just to come forward and to use the taper candle to light one of the candles in the front and to say a few words of remembrance. I just invite you to come forward. CSR 1.0, we will miss you. As Wayne said, we've got very fond memories of you. But the child you leave behind offers us hope for the future. And we look forward to watching her blossom and grow over the coming years and decades. See you soon. And I said, oh, here, I'm going to be at this very interesting event in, uh, in London on Wednesday night where we're going to bury old CSR and we're going to um, welcome the birth of new CSR. Did I hear you say it's a daughter? It's a daughter, so I have to change my spiel. Um, and he said, ah, he said, you know what you do? You, you, you tell them what they said, what the vizier said when uh, Henri III, uh, 13, when Henri the Thirteenth died, and the young Henri Fourteen, Henri Quatorze, who was five years old, was going to then become the king. And what they said was, le roi est mort, vive le roi. But in this case, it should be, le roi est mort, vive la reine. There we go. I, I just wanted to briefly pay my respects to old CSR. I think it's tragic that so much of his life was spent in isolation from the part of business and disconnected in so many ways from the world around him. I just think we will all miss CSR so much. He, he had this wonderful way of making us all feel good. Reminded of the, uh, the head of CSR that I knew six or seven years ago in a very large company who was retiring and, and was uh, given a farewell party by all the community organisations that loved her so dearly in the way that people who you give money to regularly do. <laughs> and, um, and she burst into tears halfway through and they said, why, why? Are you so upset? You know, and she said, "You know, I'm so touched by all, all of this because nobody in my organisation knows who I am. I live down the corridor and I give out money to these community groups, and actually nobody knows what I do. And that typifies for me the element of old CSR that we will miss rather less, um, because CSR lived its life with bags of potential." but sadly got distracted by the desire to paint too many scout huts for its own. There are no more final respects. I know many of the memories are in your, in your quiet time now. And so I just want to uh, have our final moment of silence now as we have our final farewell to the old CSR. We can all just 